Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to unhide and rehide multiple sheets in Excel. So in this example here, let's say we have this report workbook that we're responsible for updating every week and then distributing out to our team or our coworkers. Now we have sheets in this workbook that we might want to hide before we send it out. And in this case here, I've created a set of macros that will automatically do this for us. So the whole setup is that we just have to change the tab color of those uh, sheets that we want to hide to yellow in this case here. So I've just uh, right clicked each of these tabs, uh, changed them to this yellow color here. And then all of these sheets that are yellow, you can see we have quite a few of them in the workbook. These will be hidden when we run the macro. So I'll go ahead and run the macro. I've also added it to a custom toolbar here and I'll explain this setup as well. But I have this button here, hide yellow sheets. And I'll click that. You can see now all of the yellow sheets are hidden. We can go ahead and send this out to our coworkers. And then next week when we need to update this file, we can come in here, click the unhide yellow sheets button. That will un hide all of our sheets. We can go do our updates, modify our formulas, whatever we need to do, and then prepare this file to be distributed. And again, uh, then we can go back and hide those sheets before we send it out again. So that's the setup there, or I should say how the macros work. Now let's jump into the VB editor and take a look at the actual code itself. And before we do that, if you're learning VBA, I encourage you to take this on as a challenge and try and write these macros yourself before viewing the results or the answer that I'm going to share. So just take this on as a challenge if you'd like and try and write these macros. They're not uh, too complicated. So again, uh, we'll go to the end of the VB editor, developer tab, visual basic button, keyboard shortcut is alt F11. And here within my personal macro workbook, I have uh, the macros here in this unhide sheets color uh, module and you can see them right here. So the first thing we have is a constant that just defines the tab color. And this is the value, the color code or the property for the uh, yellow fill color there. You can get these from the macro recorder. I've also listed the standard colors down below and I'll share that in just a second. And then here we have the macro to hide yellow sheets. So all this does is loop through each sheet in the active workbook. And then if the tab color is equal to the tab color we've defined up here in this variable or in this constant, uh, this number here, if the tab color is equal to that, then the sheet uh, will be hidden. If not, it'll just continue on in the loop through all of the sheets in the workbook. So that's the first macro there. Of course, you can also run it from the VB editor here. So we can just select anywhere in here, hit the run button. Now we'll go ahead and run that. If we jump back over to Excel, that's going to uh, hide those yellow sheets. I'll jump back into the VB editor. And then we have another macro to unhide the yellow sheets. Uh, and that's this one here. It really does the same thing. It's just looping through all the sheets in the workbook. That tab color is equal to the tab color we've defined. Then it will make the sheet visible. And then you might have also noticed at the beginning I turned uh, screen updating off. This just makes the macro run a little faster because the uh, application doesn't have to repaint every time a sheet is uh, unhidden. Uh, so it just runs a little bit faster there. And then we turn screen updating back on at the end of it. Now with these macros, you can use any color you'd like. I put the uh, color codes for the standard colors down here. So if you don't want to use yellow, maybe you're already using yellow for something else, for a tab color for something else, you can use any color you'd like. I'd recommend using the standard colors because these are available across all color themes that you might use. And uh, what I mean by that is we jump back over to Excel here. I'll just right click this tab. Let's say we wanted to hide this one too tab color uh, right down here we have these standard colors so th those are the colors listed out there in the uh, code module that you can use and we're currently using this yellow color you could use any of these you could also use any of these colors up here these colors just change with the theme so if your different workbooks are using different themes or something like that then you might need to go find uh, that color code every time so to keep it more consistent i recommend using one of these standard colors we'll make this one yellow again go to my macros hide that sheet, and then that's going to hide all of those yellow sheets. So I'll now also quickly explain where this macro is stored and how I uh, added these buttons up here into the, the uh, toolbar, the custom toolbar. So if we jump back over to the VB editor. I've put this macro or, or this module, I should say, these macros in my personal macro workbook. And I have a whole nother video series that explains how to create your personal macro workbook. 
I also have a video that explains how to copy code into it or code modules into it. So I'll put links to that in the description below this video so you can check that out if you're not familiar with that process. But I recommend putting this uh, code module here in your personal macro workbook and that way you can run these macros on any open file so you can use this same setup across all of your workbooks and anytime you color code or change a tab color to yellow then you can quickly hide it or again whatever that color is uh, makes it easy for you so put this in your personal macro workbook and then if we jump back over to Excel, we can also create a custom ribbon tab. And I have a whole other video series that explains this as well. But to just quickly show you the basics, you can right click uh, anywhere on the ribbon, choose customize the ribbon. And then over here on the right, I added a new tab, a custom tab called my macros, added some new groups. I have this sheets group within there where I've added buttons. So over here on the left, you can choose macros. You'll see all the macros in your personal macro workbook or all your open workbooks. And you can uh, find that one. So find the hide yellow sheets. Here it is here. You can then add it over here. You can rename it, change the icon and all that kind of stuff here. And that will allow you to then run this macro on any open workbook. It adds a button there to that uh, ribbon. And with, as we can see, when we go here, my macros, we now have these buttons for the hide and unhide macros. And again, we can run these on any open workbook. So we don't have to have this code inside of specific workbook or anything like that. Now, if you're sending the file to other users and you want them to be able to run the macros as well, then you would want to put the code in that workbook and make it a macro enabled workbook that you're sending to other users. And another thing I forgot to mention with the tab color is you can change the tab color of multiple sheets at the same time. So you can select a sheet, you can either hold control and select other sheets, uh, or even hold the shift key to select a, a range of sheets, and then just right click on any of the selected tabs, go tab color, change this to yellow, and that of course will change all those tabs to yellow, or if you wanna keep those visible, right click tab color, change it to a different color or no color, and that's a quick way to just change all of these or update all of the properties of these sheets at one time for the macro. And then finally, if you need a more advanced setup than just tab colors, I have developed an add-in called Tab Control that can help with this process as well. So on the Excel Campus tab of the ribbon here, uh, I have a Tab Control installed. It's part of my Tab Hound add-in. There's a Tab Control button right here. I'll just click that. Uh, create this tab control list. And this is going to add a list or a sheet with a list of all the sheet names here in the back of the workbook. You can choose the visible property, so you can change this to true or false to make these visible or hidden. You can also change the sheet names here. You can update a lot of different sheet names at one time, and you can change the tab colors as well by changing the fill color of these cells. And then you'll rerun, uh, run the update on tab control that will make those changes. So this is, again is a way to update uh, the workbook if you're doing this every single week or every single month and you constantly need to hide and unhide sheets and also take additional actions with renaming and coloring tabs and things like that. Tab control is a great uh, solution for this as well with some more advanced features. So I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can learn more about tab hound and tab control. If you want to learn how I created this workbook with this dashboard in it, this interactive dashboard, I do have a free video series on an introduction to pivot tables and dashboards. And I'll also put a link to that in the description below this video. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.